Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with a different video, not a tutorial, but a tablescape. So I have a few things like this resin tray that I've made on my channel, and I've made bunches of them so that I can put them all together on a fun tablescape. I'm gonna show you how everything goes together, and then I will link below to how you can make the individual items. So if you wanna make the tray, you wanna make this three-tier tray, or even the salad plates or knife rests. I've got videos on all of that. Let's look. All right, y'all. So here's the whole table. And I just, I don't know. I love how it turned out. I've made the salad plates here. They go on my pink blush plates with my Boho Check chargers and my pretty linen blush placemats and napkins. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I just got these at Walmart of all places for 30 bucks, which is amazing for rose gold flatware. And I kind of went crazy filming the video. Either way, we've got the beautiful three-tiered tray. I love how it looks with all the little pieces on it. It's just so pretty. Of course, the flies love our cupcakes, but they are not going to eat them. I am going to eat them. <laughs> All four of the salad plates came out almost completely different. Even though you've used the same materials, the same colors, that's just how, how resin works. Now, there are conflicting views on how resin is safe for food. Um, the kind of resin I use is food safe after it's cured but if you just don't like that a lot of people still just really think that that's dangerous you can always seal this with a clear sealer that is a hundred percent food safe you can always just use them decoratively which is probably what i'm gonna do and eat on the blush plates so that is the whole table except i almost forgot i made these are not up on the blog. These are not up, up on YouTube. I made a mold out of an antique knife rest that I have and then cast this copper resin into it and made custom copper knife rests because I just, I needed them. And now they go with all my pretty rose gold things. And that is the whole table. Of course, the only piece that's missing is the serving tray. Hey mom, do you have the serving tray? All right, here is the serving tray that you guys are going gaga over on YouTube. And it is just, I love the clear parts. Can you see that? These handles, everyone's asking where you get them and I will put a link below to some similar ones on Amazon. But mom, do you wanna tell everyone where the handles are from? The handles are from a uh, jewelry chest that the kids got me and they were silver and I like a and lot she more didn't like them. traditional handles so I took them off and gave them to Betsy and she painted them <laughs> and used them and now everyone's like and now they're like where'd you get those handles they're, they're viral perfect. they're viral <laughs> they're so cute on here and you can use them everyone's asking I'm trying to show um if they're really in the resin well like if they'll pop off like they're in there they are not going to pop off but I'm just one of those people that tends to hold a tray underneath. So there we go. Uh -oh. Now the dogs are singing, so we're gonna say goodbye. All right, y'all, I hope you liked this look into my little garden tablescape. My mom's garden is what's behind us. We are currently working on this gazebo. So if you like garden posts, stay tuned because we are going to be doing an entire post on how to cover it with mesh and she's going to grow clematis up it. It's going to be beautiful. But we just like to come out here and have pretty garden parties. She wants me to show you the brick patio that she's working on right here. Can you see it? Yes. It's not done. So don't get too excited. But it's going to be really pretty when it's finished. And now we're going to eat some cupcakes. Have a good one. Bye y'all.